Finding Ashley Stewart 2017 Runway Fashion Show. How did you get started with doing this? I got started doing nails because I was uh, working at the front desk at a spa and the woman had off on Sunday and Monday who did nails. I've never had any interest in nails, I've never done nails, but she had off on Sunday and Monday and people kept coming in wanting appointments on Sunday and Monday. So I said, hmm, maybe I'll go to school and do nails on Sunday and Monday and not have any competition. So I did it as a business decision, So, but it really has blessed me. That's why I went. So a business decision that stuck basically. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you offer to other people that you to your clientele that other nail technicians don't offer to their clients? Well, this is something for all beauty okay. professionals, right? Whether they do hair, makeup, or nails. What you offer to your clients that's different from other people is you. <laughs> right? It's yourself. People come back for you, right? You actually have to do great work, but as far as the technique part, I really do meticulous cuticle work. I love doing natural nails, and I also offer reflexology. Plus, I educate my clients when I'm doing stuff, so I do a reflexology massage, and that always sets me apart. So, we're here at the, you know, the fashion show, and the, the main thing for this fashion show and for the campaign is confidence, right. and loving the curves, and you know, how do you feel that you express your confidence during your everyday life? I think by just really being me, really, not thinking about it. You can tell when someone is trying to overdo it, that's not confidence. That's trying to hide, you know, hide behind things, right? So my confidence just comes from me doing me and minding my own business. It's a really important thing. The word minding your own business, a lot of times people try to think like, oh, you know, you're asking, where was your man? Where's your friend? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? If you're doing that, then you clearly are not minding your own business. Do you get it? My business. My business. My nail business. The business of Naja. I gotta mind my business. So if I'm just doing me and minding my business, that's intoxicating. That is actually a contagious sense of confidence. And at the end of the day, the real part is, if you're not paying my bills, I am unconcerned what you think. So, Naja, I have to ask you, most of your fans know me from the show LA Hero that uh, airs on WeTV. So, how, how has that come to things, you know, been to you? How have you enjoyed that? Well, I enjoyed it because it has helped me to cross over to have followers in other areas, right? So, I was always known within the nail community. But now being on this show, I got more well known in the hair industry. Right, so I go to a lot of trade shows now, a lot of hair people know me. And then, the plus size community. I didn't even know there was a community, so that's why I'm here with Ashley Stewart, because of all of the followers saying, girl, I love your confidence, I love the way you dress, I love your style. So I, I started to look into this plus size community, and I'm like, oh my god, there's a whole other arena of women and empowering women. So I'm actually going to start to um, do more of that. I'm going to release some t-shirts that really have inspiring quotes for all women. Um, I won't tell you yet, you'll have to follow me on Instagram to see what they're going to be, but they're going to be great. Um, and then also I went on the show just because God told me to. Really, I didn't want to go on there. I don't want to go on reality TV. I'm a very private person. But I went on there to show nail stylists and the world at large that there's more than just what they see as those generic nail salons, right? And as a nail stylist, it actually can be a career. Like I've got to go to Paris Fashion Week and do nails. I've set a Guinness World Record. I've had a radio show. I have my own product line. I teach other students how to make money in the beauty industry. So there's plenty of things you can do within the beauty industry. Wow, so you have actually found other platforms from the one that you were given from WeTV. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're a hustler, you know what to do. You go on there uh, to help market yourself and then utilize what you can use. So when you say that that is like the key art of hustling, elevating yourself through other platforms, that's one of the that is one of the things for sure. But I would say the key art of hustling is to actually hustle. For real, everyone is posting all this stuff. I hustle all day, wake up and grind. I'm a boss. I'm this. You're not doing anything but posting. You, to, the key to hustling is to actually hustle, and that means for a good amount of time, like five or six years of my life, I had bags under my eyes. I always wore the same clothes. I barely showered or slept because I was grinding for real. No sleep, no sex, no, nothing. So when you are at that point, you know that you grind it. Then you can use other platforms for that grind, in my opinion. Wow, that sounds great. So will we be able to see you on the new season or the upcoming season of Air? Well, I hope so. I mean, if we just finished the fifth season, and I hope that we get another sixth season, we're not sure. You know, you never know. So, if so, I'll definitely be there. Uh, you know, because i got to keep the people in line. Without me, that <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta tell them about themselves. You can find me on Instagram, the 
underscore Naja, N-A-J-A, or Naja Nail Guru. Thank you.